Hi, I'm Liz from Leisure Days Insurance. With the rising cost of living, many holiday caravanners are looking for some ways to save some money. So in this video, we speak to a number of people from across the industry for their cost saving tips to cut the cost of holiday caravanning. First up, we speak to Darren Langston from Regal Leisure Homes. Hello, my name's Darren from Regal Leisure Homes. I'm the Business Development Director. Uh, we're in our new Autograph uh, 42 by 14 two bedroom unit, which we've launched at the NEC. This unit comes centrally to double glazed, uh, high efficiency units, as well as the integrated and flush fitting LED lighting, uh, which is energy efficient. All our homes are built with wall insulation, roof insulation and floor insulation making your home nice and warm in the winter period and nice and cool in the summer period. Uh, this also helps with cost reduction in your bills due to the double glazing and central heating within this unit. So here are some of our top tips to help you save some money when you're holiday caravanning. Hi there, my biggest tip is to look into joint ownership. It might really help you get the caravan and the park that you really want. So maybe look into buying a caravan with a family or friend member. You can split the cost of buying the unit. You can split the cost of buying the site fees. You can also split obviously maintenance and insurance bills. It can really help you get off to a good start. We bought our caravan in conjunction with my parents who are retired. So obviously that works really well in terms of usage. We like to use the caravan during school holidays or on weekends, whereas my parents like to use the caravan when the site is quiet. So during term time, get good use throughout the year, um, really means that we're getting money for our investment and our site fees. My other great tip is to make the most of the park facilities. So look into what the park's got to offer that are often free and included within your site fees. So swimming pools, playgrounds, maybe fishing lakes, golf courses. Look at those, make the most of those. Also maybe look at reception, um, and on entertainment notice boards that might give you an idea of events that are taking place on the park. Also maybe look on the Facebook groups and um, there might be people on there that are sharing events in the local area so check those out often there are some really great events that don't cost any money. In, in addition maybe look into sort of local walks and local bike rides. Generally parks are in great settings so look in the local areas the countryside or coastal walks just see what's available in terms of those and, and they're great fun and often free. Really great tip is, is trying to eat in the caravan as much as possible. Obviously, it's lovely to eat out, it's lovely to go for a meal, it saves on the washing up too, but it can get really expensive. What we tend to do when we get to the caravan is we'll go do a big shop in the local village or local supermarket. That'll give us the provisions that we need for the week. My final tip would also be when you do first buy your caravan, uh, there's no pressure to buy everything new. You maybe could look to buy accessories by buying used items, uh, maybe check on the park's Facebook group. Fellow owners might be selling items, uh, they might be selling their caravan and therefore might have all the uh, in, internal contents to, for sale. Um, they might be selling bikes, TVs, outdoor furniture, all really expensive items, but they'll be looking to get rid of those before they move off the park. So it's also a really great way to get those items that you probably are going to need on park at a cut price um, and really save some money. If you're thinking of buying a holiday home or a lodge, but you're not yet 100% sure that you can afford it, I have the answer. Make it make money. You can rent a holiday home or lodge out and generate a substantial income, or you could generate a small amount to offset your costs. Those costs being the annual pitch fee, your insurance, your gas and electricity, for example. And there are some more. You can rent it out for a substantial length of time and actually generate an, a major income that will help offset the cost of buying it. So, for example, if you're not going to be using your holiday home or lodge in school holidays, that's the time when you can maximise 
on the income that it can generate because the demand is high and you can charge more. So you could rent it out during school holidays, popular times, the rest of the time is yours. So you reserve the times of the year when you want to use it, weekends, weeks, whatever suits, and you let your holiday home make you money for the rest of the year. So there you go, a huge thank you to those experienced caravanners and industry experts for their cost saving holiday caravan tips. We hope you found these tips useful. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoy some great static caravan holidays on a budget. Take care.